Wiltshire's. Yeah, we have loved telling you about all the amazing things that people in Wiltshire have been doing to just help us all get through the coronavirus crisis. And you may remember my next guest very, very well, as this is actually his hat-trick appearance on this show. He is Gaz Keenan from Swindon, but much better known as John from the Lennon Retrospective. Hello, Gaz. Hello, Ila. You all right? I'm very well, very well. How are you getting on? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Yeah, and these weird and wonderful times. Definitely weird. Definitely weird. Yeah. Uh, but there's there's a bit of wonder, because you've been spreading a bit of wonder, generally, because I know that you've been playing a lot of songs almost every day over social media, <laughs> on Facebook, since the start of lockdown. Uh, but this weekend, it was the last one you've done. Am I right? It was, yeah. Friday Friday evening. Yeah, I, um, I, I put out the last one, which was like a compilation of mm. all the ones I'd done. So, yeah. So how, how, many did you do in, how many did you do in total? How many days were you doing it for? I did 48 videos in total, which worked out to just over three hours and 20 minutes. Really? And that's three hours and 20 minutes that people aren't going to get back. <laughs> well, do you know what? It's, it's interesting, actually, because I remember putting a request in for a song on day two oh, of 48. yeah. And 46 days later, you never did it. So please explain yourself. Well, do you know what? A lot of people requested songs, and there was a lot of songs that I wanted to do. And right. It was weird, because I'd get up in the morning, I'd go out to my studio, and I'd think, right, I'm going to do this one today. And certain songs just wouldn't work. Right. No matter what I did, okay. just, it just didn't feel right. Um, so and you're saying mine didn't work? Tangent. No, no. The, the, yours, obviously, are, you know, the one you chose, the guy from the original band has got an incredibly high voice. That's true. That's true. He, he and really I thought, has. Okay. Well, I mean, you're kind of digging yourself into a hole with it and, uh, and, and back out again. But I will let you off because it has been brilliant watching you put these out on Facebook, on social media. 48 consecutive days have been great fun, great covers. Oh, so well done to you. It's been absolutely brilliant. But it's time to talk live venues because you keep telling yeah. us the last time you're on it this is a tough time for live venues isn't it but you're doing something really really special in swindon as the Lennon retrospective band aren't you tell yeah. us about it yeah so basically i mean we, you know we haven't played live together since the beginning of all this and all the venues are struggling you know they're all they've all got crowdfunding pages but, you know because nothing's going on at these at these venues Mm -hmm. And for the you know the self-employed musicians, this is a a nightmare. And for the venues, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Um, so our keyboardist Mark Mark Dryden, he's been working tirelessly in the background, um, being in touch with the Welsh government, the English government, all these theatres and venues, trying to sort out what we can do to get music back in these yeah. venues. So in two weeks' time, on um, Saturday, June the sixth. We will be playing in Level 3 in Swindon for the first time as a live band since the beginning of lockdown. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Absolutely brilliant. so it's going to be no audience there. It is uh, just... What's that going to be like? What Because you you're used to playing all over the country to, to big crowds. There's going to yeah. be no one there. Are you going to have the same adrenaline, the same buzz? Have you thought about what that's going to be like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've considered the dynamic quite, quite thoroughly. And mm. it, it is going to be weird because obviously it's, it's Lennon. You know, I can be a bit cheeky with the audience and we yeah. can get a bit of banter going on. And that builds up throughout the show. Yeah. You know, the, the two-hour show, by the end of it, you know, we're having a good good laugh, me mm. and the audience and all the band members. We're not going to have that same dynamic, so it is going to be slightly different. Um, and we're just going to have to play it by ear. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like watching Premier League football behind closed doors, though. It's going to be something different. To, there's going to yeah. be different things yeah. to look out for, different experience. So tell us, how do people watch it? Because this is going to be um, new to a lot of people. D direct us yeah. in the right direction. So, I mean, the, the, probably the best place to go to um, would be uh, my website, uh, johnlennontribute.com. Um, and uh, very soon there's going to be a link on there to a website that's a dedicated server. Great. So it won't be going out on Facebook. It won't be going out on YouTube. It'll be a dedicated website so that there's going to be good quality, uninterrupted Lovely. audio and visual. So that you know we, do, we don't get any glitches. Hopefully, yeah, absolutely. fingers crossed. You know yeah. what I mean. So absolutely. that's that's the best. But there's a lot of. I mean, we only confirmed this on Friday, I think. Mm. 
So now we've got two weeks of preparation and we've got to get the, all the, the back end of that website working, which yeah. um, David from the events company is sorting out at the moment. And as soon as we've got a link, it'll pop on there. And, and that's where you can go. Brilliant. And look, finally, before you go, about you, I guess using social media and the internet to connect with your mm. fans and the power of it, has this yeah. maybe been the one positive thing for a musician like yourself that it might be something that you keep on doing and putting yourself kind of even more out there when it comes to the internet? Yeah, sure. I mean, what we want to get from this is some success so that we can... There's other in- venues that are interested in this, but they're unsure how it's going to work. Mm. So we want to try and make it a success so that we can say to these venues, right, we've done it. It works to a point. Yeah, It's something, you know what I mean? It's totally. something. It's not, it's not going to be the same at the moment, you know, but it's something, and it, it it's something to to work towards. Absolutely. You know? Hopefully, hopefully this lockdown is you know it's easing now. Uh, hopefully, there won't be a second wave, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but we just don't know. You, 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 you're, you're so right, and 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 we just want to get back in the venues. We want them to be there, available for us, and it's fantastic yeah. what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, you know what? I'll make sure that I do your song for you now. Now that <laughs> you made me feel all guilty, man. It's yeah, not, it's not the, on. <laughs> that's 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 the reason I got you back on the show. Thank you. It, it, it was a guilt trip, guys. Thanks so much yeah. for coming on, and we're we're really impressed with what you're doing. And good luck with it on the sixth as well. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be different, and I'm I'm sure it's gonna be enjoyable. Um, Absolutely, it'll be, it'll be fun. Hundred percent. Have fun. Enjoy it. Gaz Keenan there, John otherwise known as from the Lennon Retrospective, based in Swindon, but known around the world. Do go and check that out. Check out his website when the link will be there to watch that live from Swindon on June the 6th. Breakfast is being confirmed.